In this video, it's a bit of a Daihatsu diary as I give a quick update um, on my Daihatsu charade or charade or mirror or kuore, uh, however you want to say it. Um, an important thing is I have now fitted a 13 inch wiper blade. Uh, it looks much better than the 11. Miss Hubnut does not agree, but it also clears about an inch more windscreen, maybe two. So um, I'm finding that better. Uh, so excuse the shouty birds. Now she's been sitting overnight. I went home in Myrtle the Matiz yesterday. So um, we shall do a cold start. Uh, first of all, we should apply the handbrake, which seems to be working just about at the moment. And Sounds nice and tappy this morning, doesn't she? Sometimes it does until the um, oil properly starts circulating. And there's still a bit of um, a hint of blue, but compared to how she was, she does actually seem a lot improved. I'm not going to say cured because that is too strong a word. It's not like the blue smoke issue has gone away, but the various potions do seem to have come together to reduce it quite substantially. So we'll go easy on the rev since she's still fairly cold. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, well, quite a lot of that is steam because she's cold. Yeah, that doesn't smell like oil to me, so I think that's just typical condensate. Um, but the problem was I could drive um, along and this cloud would just hang in the air and not dissipate because um, it was so full of oil. Uh, I say that, it was a lovely cloud <laughs> just blowing over there. But like I say, she's not cured. She is merely better. And I found as I'm driving along, um, in the morning it, it, that's the main difference I'm not being followed by a huge cloud it was absolutely horrific um, so uh, I think in some ways she's definitely um, feeling a bit better so I'll just treat it to some wiper action with the um, new blade get that much better clearage uh, I'm very happy with that and once you've been for a run and got her warmed up well um, the story seems very different indeed uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to attach you to the rear window so you can watch. There we go, nothing. Uh, I think we can say that's an awful lot better. So what about if I rev her up a bit? Yeah. Still a bit, but like I say, it's not cured. It is better. And uh, the main thing is I have more confidence it's actually gonna get better still as we continue on. Um, I've only done probably 90 miles since doing the oil change. We're gonna do a big run tomorrow. And uh, so yeah, the diary will continue. Diary Daihatsu. Well, here we are a few days later on and uh, we're in Monmouth, which is a very pretty, um, little town right on the Welsh borders. We've just collected a load of stuff. Um, Miss Hubnut, could you pop the boot please? Down by the handbrake. Pull it up. In the back we have the entire radiator assembly um, from a Rover 75. Um, I bought this and an actuator for the um, rear window for a hundred pounds and uh, we've got the um, intercooler here we've got the condenser that's fairly recent we've got a working fan and i've seen that actually work today um, all the intercooler pipes accessible i predict i will not fit that at all but uh, it now exists it is with the car i was going to fit it but um yeah uh, I, I know what i'm like but we've done about 80 miles today driving here from home we actually picked the parts up in ross on y look we need headlamp wipers because poor Shemi is covered in mud. It's been a mucky old um, journey. But uh, let's start her up and see um, what the smoke situation is because she's been quite good We're today. Monmouth. We are in Monmouth. At Ross yeah, we, st we went to Ross and Wye to get the bits. Okay, so we'll start her up. 
Now it is still warm, so um, I can river with alacrity. Yeah, okay, she still smokes occasionally. <coughs> that was a huge cloud, did you see that? I feel but, uh, on the scale of previous smoke, that was small. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced that was small. Uh, so we're, we're going to continue our... Um, Team Shemi. Team Shemi, yeah. Just ignore the smoke. The smoke is um, character building. <laughs> Look, it's gone now. No, oh, it's blown the other way. That's, that's what's happening there. Um, we didn't think she was smoking, but she is smoking, so that's she did fun. She this morning, though, when we started off. No, no. Hmm. Yeah, she, she really is, is now. A bit, yeah. Yeah, we, we can kind of... Um... Um, so um, yeah, may maybe doing a few hundred miles isn't gonna make this magically We're go only away. 80 in. We're only eighty in. Uh, maybe the next hundred will do commit. <laughs> the trick. Yeah, but um, we're gonna carry on. So I'm gonna give you that, you. and we'll take you on a bit of a tour of delightful Monmouth because it has been quite delightful. Yeah. A nice pub lunch, and uh, while we were in Ross, we didn't stop in Ross because the parking situation is terrible. Oh, come on, Shemmy. Oh, Shemmy. Oh, <laughs> holy cow. Oh, she's smoking like a trooper now. Don't look. Yeah, don't look. Oh, the Van Behind's going, what the hell is this? <laughs> Am I following James Bond? Are they aware of that? So I, I, I was kind of prepared to say that the smoking situation has improved somewhat, but then we stopped. And it turns out that was our mistake. If you're smoking or not smoking, we have 80 miles to go home. Well, we do. <laughs> oh, there we go, that's cleared. It's far better. So here is uh, Monmouth. I try not to run over the man with the broom. Yeah, let's not squash anybody. Here we go, they've got vile, enormous Porsches, Chrysler PT Cruisers. Uh, but also some very nice old buildings about the place. Actually, that PT Cruiser is a lovely colour. Oh, aubergine. Yeah, I would have that. Yes, I should point out this car is always at its worst when cold. <laughs> so, um, I can't, uh, we're not leaving clothes behind now, so that's, that's fine, that's good. So many charity shows. Oh, a great many, aren't there? Mm. What a shame we haven't got time to stop any longer. Oh. We yeah, have some lovely old buildings. Uh, we've got a nice Chinese LDV Maxus there as well. Oh, you know what? I want to go and have a wander up there. That looks lovely, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, free museum. Uh, that won't be open um, for very much longer. It didn't look open anyway. But uh, in Wales, all the museums and art galleries are closed from today. Oh, that's exciting. Let's drive straight at me, sir. Thank you. Right. This is very exciting. We're about to go on to a dual carriageway. Bit of body roll on the roundabout. Oh, it's only a 50 mile an hour one. Boring. Still, we don't have dual carriageways at home, so they're a bit of a novelty. But yes, uh, I think Shemi has done very well today, apart from smoking yeah. out that car park. I'm about that. Yeah. It's surprisingly comfortable, really. We'll see if I still think so by the time we're back home again. It'll be getting on for about 180 mile round trip, I think. Seems a very comfortable actually. Tunnel! Oh, we definitely don't have any We have to do the tunnel thing. There might be too much wind noise for this. <laughs> she's no sports car. Oh, she sounded like a beast. Oh, yeah. Get her up to the dizzy heights of 70 miles an hour. There we go, 70 miles an hour at 3,000 revs. Surprisingly um, relaxing. A bit 
more road noise because we've got the boot all open because of having an entire radiator from a Rover in it. It is considerably larger than the radiator in this car. We shall press on and try and impress you with scenery along the way. We've just stopped here at the Chain Bridge Inn. Uh, we, we got slightly lost, we went the wrong way. Um, but then we thought we'd do a bit of random sightseeing and it's um, all reversing uphill. Not Shemi's strongest point, that's Shemi the Charade. I haven't actually told you her name yet. Uh, the children have named her Shemi. I only know one of a Shemi who is the um, skier. But here we go across the chain bridge. It's a very impressive looking bridge. So this is what happens when you sometimes get accidentally lost. Also pleased to report we don't seem to have a smoke screen going on, but it's safe to show out the back I think. Look at that, not, not a bit of blue. So she's burnt off whatever was upsetting her back in Monmouth. Does that mean valve stem seals are they leaking when she's parking up? And that's why she's smoky at first and it then clears? Maybe. Who knows? Onwards, back to Abergavenny. At the risk of drawing attention to myself, we now have the engine warm. We once again have no smoke, so uh, that seems to be the issue when it's cold, very, very smoky. Uh, we're in the Brecon Beacons at the moment. It's marvellous. Some of the hilltops are covered in snow in the far distance. It's um, absolutely breathtaking. So, but uh, we're going to push on for home. I'm going to have to give this car a wash tomorrow because she's now filthy. But um, hopefully you found that interesting. I don't think we've really drawn any massive conclusions. I would say that the things I've used on this car have made it better. I think the exhaust is now much um, better when the engine is warm. When it's cold, we've obviously still got an issue because I don't think magic potions are going to completely clear any issues. That's not really how um, they work. They've improved it, no end, so I'm very happy. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. Oh yes, that looks rather better, wouldn't you say? Shemir Sherard is clean once more. That isn't going to last.